Right, we're back to fog football and it's time to put down the knife from our body wrist and watch 90 minutes of irrelevant hell as Russia will pump us 27-0 tonight. And even if we pump them 27-0, it doesn't matter because the team is full of shiftless, useless bastards. Any more thoughts because well, we don't deserve any fucking more. <laughs> thankfully I have to go to work, so I actually I will miss it. I might have to watch the first 20 minutes, but that's about it, guys, so... Uh... Nah, well, I, I, I will be watching it, so... Looks sadly. like you do the short straw. You know what, see if Shanklin starts up front and Ian McBurney, I think it will be worth it, but see see that... See, McBurney's pish. They asked, they, like, they asked him, I'm not called saying, up I'm not the Scotland sh- squad. I was shite. Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying Shanklin's better than McBurney, but fuck it, try him, right? We know what McBurney can do, and it's not a lot. We yeah, don't know what the, Shanklin the last, can do. The last Scottish Championship player to get called up to the national team was John McGinn, and that worked wonders, so fucking telling you. Lord, I mean, the guy's got 14 John McGinn, I think John McGinn should be the captain. Yes. It's John McGinn, it's John McGinn, it's John McGinn. No, it's not Gen, necessarily Gen, that Gen. I think he is like Captain Material, but I mean, Andy Robertson's, Andy Robertson's a clearly card. not. So deleting his Twitter to the people abusing him because he went to give away a penalty against Napoli. Fucking wise up. I mean, seriously. Well, people say, people say McGinn's the new Scott Brown, like so. For that reason alone, you should get the captain's armband. Andy Robertson should be hung outside Hamden. For deleting or deactivating this, I so, no, see that. That I mean, where's William Wallace? Take her on, fucking outnumbered by thousands, and th- this prick is deactivating his Twitter like, because he gave away a penalty. See, see if Robertson went through the same like scenario as like Brown, and then he was leaving the stadium. Some guy says to Robertson, "How's your sister?" I, I think he'd have probably fucking bolt onto the bus, like lay on the ground and try his fucking eyes out. Whereas Scott Brown kind of looked at the guy and was like. If these police were running here, you'd be dead. He deactivated you know his safe space and fucking hung himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a No, fuck, look, Brian just turned around and looked at him and went, Mate, see if this police weren't here, you'd be fucking dead. But, hey, um, we do well, O'Donnell's this. supposedly starting at right back. I mean, fuck me, man. Like, I, I'm all, I was all for O'Donnell. I think the guy's no. decent. Please well, no, he no plays well with Kamonic, but I mean, he says, uh, "Why not give, why not give Greg Taylor a chance or something?" Well, I, mean, I would. The, the fact of the matter is, right this, when Tierney's back to full fitness, he'll be slotting in there. Yeah, like I don't get. I mean, we we need you. You can't have Kieran Tierney. I, don't, I think Kieran Tierney's too good not to be playing. I would even play him centre back. I think he could play centre back. I know he doesn't have the height, but I mean, he's, I, I'd rather him than Hanley. Hanley is just a, a well, disaster waiting. The guy's fucking pish. See, I mean, to I, me, ideally, we'll McKenna and Sutter. Robertson, McKenna, Sutter, Tierney. That, that's the best back four you're going to get. Yeah, for me, Tierney, it should either be at right back or even put him in left mid, but we've got Fraser, Ryan so Fraser. he ain't going to go left no, mid. No, play Tierney, Tierney left mid if you're going to stick Fraser up front. But then you've got Shankle. Yeah. Well, it depends what Shankle's going to do. I'm saying we're well, saying yeah, this is going to fucking start, rip up Russia. Like so it's all of like. Fraser's probably a better striker than Shanklin, but oh. I mean, <laughs> although Fraser's not got the sort of goal return that Shanklin has, but then again, Shanklin oh, is playing in the Scottish God Championship and Fraser's playing in the the English uh, Premiership. So. Now, you, I mean, playing it, Alo and Fleck are better than Man United. So if you look at it like that, that's not too yeah. bad. <laughs> that's not too far fetched. I think. Um, yeah, see, see the centre back partnership. I think it should be Suter and McKenna. Give those two a chance. See Hanley, never going to be good enough. No, well, Gru's he's, done. He's just been mean. Why, why, for why, why years. not give Suter and McKenna right? Two big, two big lads, two physical fucking for the young team centre backs. I would just why not give them a chance, man? Just give them a run of games together. Oh, Liam Cooper, Liam, man of the match at Leeds, who cares? Fucking who cares? You know, no, no, that annoys me. They, they get rid of, like the, the, like, the older people from, like, five years ago, right? Who were at, who could actually still relatively do well. But we'll but get yet, rid of the old the, people now. But, but they still, but they still, like, stick in, like, see Mulgrew and Hanley, see every time I look at the, the team sheet. I mean, you've got a guy 
who, who's playing for a League One team on loan. Albeit, right, Hanley's playing for Norwich, but he's shit. I, I couldn't give a shit if he's playing for Barcelona. Does it make him good? No, he's pish. I'd rather play centre back. The guy is donkey and McTominay. He, I mean, he plays for United, but is he playing for United? That ain't what it used to be. This ain't 1998. This is 2019, and fucking Ollie's at the wheel, and he's in the fucking boot. So. And, and I think right, if we, if we lose this game right. and we only beat Sam Reno like 2-0, Steve Clark out. And that's the bottom line because Fog Football said so. And is that it? Is that their whack? You don't think you don't think Steve Clark deserves a chance for the playoffs? I've seen fucking Hee Haw. Well, all right, maybe the playoffs, like, but I mean, we'll say, say he bottles the playoffs. He has to go. He has to. He fucking has to. We've been shit. We've under Clark. We've not played good in one game. I don't mind if we play shit and get the results, but I mean, it's have have we been see under Clark? Have we been better or worse than we were with McLeish? Right, better. I mean, three 0 against Kazakhstan. I mean, you, you could show up with eleven bags of dog shite in the pitch, and it would be better than that. <laughs> oh, I mean. I, no, I, no, I, I mean, won't be worrying. See, see, we play Sam Marino. See if we're only one 0 up with ten minutes to go. I mean, that that'll just be. I mean, come no, on. Just, right, see, for, see to me, if we have Shankland up front against Sam Marino, I could see him getting a hat trick. But see if it's McBurney, he's just one slow, decrepit, lanky bastard who's who's not going to do anything. I don't think it, it doesn't matter if he's playing against Sam Marino or Barcelona. It's going to be fucking zero goals or two. See, I don't, I don't really matter how sl- I don't really care how slow or lanky he is. But to me, against that game against Russia, it looked like just, he gave up. He did just, not look interested, I in my opinion. I, I don't care if you're slow. I mean, Giroud, I mean, his build-up play is great. This fucking McBurney prick, man. <laughs> He's got nothing to do. No, I just want someone, from... I want someone that's going to fight for the ball, and I just didn't see it. You see if McBurney, right, was pish all game, and then he just turned around and headbutt it, the, the, the fucking Russian centre-back. I'd have given him a 10 out of 10, but he didn't. Ah, well, Putin would have probably fucking locked him up for life if he'd done that, but... Well, I suppose he was in Scotland. Like, he may, he may have been alright, he was in Glasgow. You guys got oil, But no, okay. I... <laughs> No, but uh, he just didn't make any runs. He didn't seem interested. It was like a really bloody lazy performance, and it was a must-win game. I but, just expected but, but more. That's, that's the thing. Everyone was like that. We can't just hate him like Bernie. Everyone was like that. Everyone was just fucking pissed. I know, but I think he was but, the worst. Yeah. But everyone was shit. I, I, no, it's not. It's like you kind of need the striker if you're playing right, with a lone striker. Yeah. If he's not doing anything, it's then everyone else is like, well, "What the fuck are we doing?" <laughs> What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> At least if the striker's doing something. I mean, if the striker's making runs, it, it, it's it's you know I mean, it's it's making passes available for the midfielders to find. If if he's able to hold the ball, but it, it's given opportunity for the midfielders to get forward. But see, he see for me, nothing. he should be relishing a game against Russia, where the centre backs are going to be like slow and big, just like him. I mean, it's going to be like a score goal essentially. I know you'd probably, yeah, probably no, rather I mean, against midgets, but. He it's lost still... every 50-50. <clears throat> he's just... He's pish. Anyway, I would... Well, Robertson has to start because he is the main man, but I would just strip the captaincy off him for that Twitter thing. Fuck him. Honestly, that's pathetic. That is brutal. Anyway, though, is that it? What, what's your score prediction? I've, I I did mine in my preview, like, and it's not, it's not pretty. Not pretty, damn it. I'm gonna... <sighs> Did I go in my head or did I go in my heart? I went with both. <laughs> it still didn't fucking end well. See, I don't think Rush is that good. I actually think we're good. And I think... See, people think I'm retarded for saying that. I think, I mean... See, out of the home nations, we have by far the second best squad, but yet we play like we've got the worst. Nah, I think we're going to build for it. I don't. I think we're going to fucking bottle it. I'm, I'm going to say, we, we're, I, think, I think we're going to win 2 1. 2 1 Scotland. Well, I, 2 1 <laughs> to Scotland. Well, I, I, In reality, it'll probably be 4 0 Russia. Like, I, I, well, 2 1 Scotland. I, I, I predict it 3 0 because, one, I think that'll happen, Just? and two, no. Russia. <laughs> One, I think it will happen, and two, if it if we win two one, it will feel better. But I think I think I think we're gonna get pumped. 
I think Steve Clark's gonna fucking great, and then Robertson's gonna fucking kill himself. <laughs> right, so is that yeah, I'm, no, I'm no joking. Like, if we get beat three 0 Steve Clark may as well just walk because I'm walking on my tears. Woo. No, but the re I think the reason we got rid of McLeish is because he was pish. Because we couldn't win a fucking game. Yeah, but it is it's, well. Kinda, but like <laughs> couldn't score. It's like couldn't win. Is we, he only gonna show scar for fuck's sake? We we kind of accepted that. Look, this guy. This push. We're, we're we're going fucking nowhere, right? And we need to get rid of him. Like, we kind of accepted before Steve Clark came in that the, the qualification through the, the the actual European qualification groups was kind of over with. Yes. And the reason we were getting rid of McLeish is not because. We want to qualify the, the through the Euros. And build up it, the was, it was more League. for the playoffs. Yeah, it was just to try and get someone in, to and let them get used to the squad, and and to build a bit of momentum, so that when the 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 Euro League nations came along, we'd have a chance. But I mean, I guess you've got to play devil's advocate and, and look at it the same way here. If if Steve Clark, if we get humped tonight, it's going to be two. Humpens half of Belgium. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying. We like, I'm not saying we should be beating Belgium, but we we're not even competing against Belgium. We were far better in we're Belgium not, than actually at Hamden. You look at the two games, like, and we just we were shit. Got beat off Russia. We um we barely beat Cyprus. I mean, barely. And see that Cyprus game. You know, it's not like. It's not like we pummeled Cyprus and then they scored no. with their first opportunity. Do you know what I mean? That's that's Cyprus. It was what, a pretty even gimmick? game. Like it was, it was fifty-fifty. It could have been either way. I hate see this whole gimmick. I go one nil up and then just fucking no. It, it only works. We, we we don't have centre backs. We've got fucking two donkeys at the back, so you can't do it. Even even if you have like I mean Van Dyke and Sergio Ramos at the back, I, I, defending a one nil leads pish. <sighs> It, dep it depends against the team. See, if we went one 0 against Belgium. I could sort of accept absolutely, it. absolutely, but no fucking. But see, we're going one 0 up. See, when we're going one 0 up against Cyprus, and then we're just sitting back. I mean, but see, see against Russia when we went one 0 up. I mean, I know you freak out. Oh, you said we were great, right? But we actually we had them on the back foot for the the first like ten, twelve minutes, and as soon as we scored, it was like, oh, let, let them come to us. Like, why? If you if you're on the front foot, you fucking you pummel them. Yeah, I don't know. But he, he, if we get beat three 0 here, and then he wins the next three games, which is against San Marino, Cyprus, and Kazakhstan, I've still no faith going into the Nations League. We're pit, unless See, we tank them, but score about it's not goals, a, it, and keep a clean sheet. Now yeah, it's not on. about beating Cyprus, Kazakhstan, and San Marino. It's, it's how you beat them. See San Marino at home should be minimum four, minimum and minimum even four nil. That's fucking shit. You should be you should be aiming for the. Well, Russia beat them eight nil. I'm pretty sure Kazakhstan beat them like four. So we need to beat them. I mean that's the thing. Even if we get beat here, at least we know we're going to win on Monday or Sunday or whenever it is. Even though it doesn't matter. And will we? I mean, see against San Marino under McLeish, we were one nil up. For like, well, I mean I say one nil up for most of the game, but. They they should have scored. San Marino missed a, a couple of chances. We should have drew with San Marino. So we can call Clark so pitch all we want, but we should have drew with San Marino. How long is Steve Clark getting? Wait, when's the earliest you would sack him? Would you sack him tonight After if we get humiliated? Games, no. Well, I mean, if it's like nine nil, maybe. I I so, say right, say not nine nils. Say it's three nil. Do you sack him tonight or? Do you give them the Sam Marino well, game? D depends, it depends what type of 3 0. If I see fight and effort, I have no problem with getting beat 3 0. But see if I see. Hey, what see, see, see there's no fight or effort. Say we, get, say we get beat 3 0 and then we, we, we beat Sam Marino like 1 or 2 0. Yeah, I would because even though do he's you, a good manager, you, he's not motivating them. If he that's what I mean. Do, do, you, do you be like, right, well, hold on. I mean, we've still got two games left against Karakazan and Cyprus and. You, know, you give them the benefit of the well, doubt. Well, maybe like, but but, or, but or, at the same time, you want well, you bring someone in to build momentum for the the, the Nations League. Yeah. 
See, it is difficult. Like, see, it's not like a club football where you come in and you've got games coming thick and fast and you're training with the players every week. You know what I mean? It's not like, international football's not like that. You know what I mean? You have to wait. You have, like, it's every couple of months you'll meet up with the players and you'll train with them for a few days. You'll have, like, two games and then you only see them again for another couple of months. So I get that it's kind of different. But we don't have time to be like, oh, you know what I mean? You give them, we'll, we'll give them like 18 months to set it in. We haven't got 18 months. We've got until March 2020. That's when the playoffs are happening. We cannot go, we can't go another major competition not being in it. We just fucking can't. That last Euros, man, Wales, Ireland and Northern Ireland were all in it. No, oh, the fucking home nations all. part for us. How embarrassing! Iceland we were in the it. Bins. Albania was in it. Romania was in it. All the fucking shitest teams you can think of were in it, and we won they. How, did, how can Albania pitch. qualify for a Euros and we're not? I mean, right? Oh, you can oh, this is the worst Scotland team I've ever seen. Bullshit! Even if you think it's the worst Scotland team ever, we're better than Albania. It doesn't matter who's getting easy groups or what. Come on, there's no excuse. Look at see, right. for I'm not right. See Robertson. See Robertson. He's worth more than the Northern Ireland, Albania, and Romanian teams combined, and that's just fucking him. That's not. Is that is is that over exaggerating? I don't think it is. No, I'd say, I'd say our starting eleven. In this it's worth more than the current, entire Eastern European, Eastern Europe. That that <laughs> our starting eleven. I'm not. I can't. I'm not going to go through everybody like individually. But our, if you pick our best starting eleven, it's worth two fifty mil plus easy, easy. Easy peasy. Even fucking even throw McBurney in for the twenty million that Sheffield United were robbed of. I mean, I don't, I don't know what they care. Were thinking, like. See, see again. He must be worth about fifty in today's market. He must be like if Man United signed him, he must be like a fifty million pound player. United were, were rumored in the summer with a fifty million bid, right? Tierney's at least 50 million. I don't care that Arsenal only just paid 25. That's because he played for Celtic, and you just don't get money when you're in Scottish Premiership. You know what I mean? You could go, oh, but, but you know what I mean? You could just say Van Dyke, you know what I mean? This is all oh, that mean Van Dyke was only worth, what, 12 or whatever Southampton paid for him. So if someone buys Tierney for Arsenal, he's, he's not, they're not going to pay 25 million. I mean, I would Tierney's say like a 50 million pound player. is one, if not the best left back currently in the world. So. Is that not like 80 million right there? If Maguire like can go for 80 million, then fucking Robertson can. Exactly. There you go. I mean, who, 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 from this shithole, who's worth eight? No one's even worth eight over here. Apart from the fucking the dole man. That's about it. I mean, I yeah, want to yeah. give Steve Clark a chance because look at, I mean, you look at the job that he did at Kilmarnock. I mean, that's, that's like, I mean, that's fantastic. But he that's can't why I thought he'd do so well. I mean, we're a fucking job squad. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying they're completely shit, but what he did, he had no right to finish third, so I'm thinking, right, well done, he's getting a good squad here, so hopefully, fuck, that means something. <laughs> but no. Steve, people talk about how good Brendan Rodgers Celtic was. He scored, he, he scored, he, got, he accumulated more points with Kilmarnock over a 365-day period than Brendan Rodgers did with Celtic in the league. And he can't even accumulate three points against Kazakhstan. <laughs> what was, like, was come on, brother. man. Fuck me. I know. I, could it could it just be someone's not right for a particular job? Has that happened? I'm trying to think of football before where someone really good went somewhere and they just did not cut it. I, know, but I think you could argue it's, it's the team. Half of them... Well, not half, right? But would you not say the Scot the Scotland team would be the most defied out of the home nations? I'd say so. Like, I mean, because right, if you, I mean, if you if right, it, see over here, if you, if you play for Northern Ireland, you're yeah, you've got the choice to, to play for North or South, like so. England, you're going I mean, to play for England. We, we'll see with Scotland. You've got the Rangers Celtic defied. You've got people who, who play for Celtic, think they're Irish. You've got people who are English who actually play for Scotland, but they're still English, so they're not going to put 110. You've got people in. who are Scottish that consider themselves British. Like, yeah, and then you've got people who are Scottish who consider themselves Scottish, but they don't get on with other and people. Then you've, got, then you've got people who are like Anya, and he's fucking hasn't got. He's not Scottish, English, or I mean, fucking he Irish. Prefer, he prefers <laughs> fly wings over a body square sausage. So I mean, that's him at the fucking <laughs> equation. <laughs> so fuck him. 
You know what I mean? Like, this, if you look at the Scotland team, it's about fucking four or five teams mixed into one. I think the talent's there. I, 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 I honestly do. No one's going to tell me is otherwise. Ste is Stevie Clark, the, the man with the prep stick and the super glue, the, the former Ollie Geller? Guess we'll find out the night on Thursday night. Nations League, brother. <laughs> anyway! Did you get rid of Steve Clark? Who's coming in? The special one? Uh, no, I realistically, who's coming in? Uh, yeah, see, the fact that you the fact that you think we could afford Mourinho just tells me that you should quit your YouTube channel. Uh, Unless you're kidding on now. Uh, uh, number one, it's Lico Day. I don't know who you'd I'd give Chris I, Morton I, I, a job for the banner like I would. Uh, his gimmick would just be beating every team 2-1. And that would that would suit me. <laughs> it would suit me. <laughs> what about Sam? You know them. Hey not guys, right? Off? This is the only method we're trying and training. Hey, just you gotta have nine defenders behind you. Keep on flicking it up and keep on hitting. <laughs> it has to go in. <laughs> it has to go in, damn it. Anyway, is that it? Is that this shit ending? Hey, managers. If we get rid of Steve me. Clark, who can we get? Name me people. Not Craig Levine. He could be of a no. job soon. No. If anyone but him does. I like talking about man. His job's safe for life. He ain't going fucking anywhere. <laughs> hey, what about Alessi? He's turning things around. Although I'll, I'll never forgive losing to Nomads. Like, I don't think that. That's, but that's almost as bad. That's, that's 4 6 0 material. Like. I don't know. Um, Allegri? I, I don't think we should have got rid of Gordon Stratton. No. I actually think we're heading in the right direction. Under Stratton, I had faith in every game. This now. Even though you should have faith now. I don't. But see, yeah, the thing is, Russia's no better than, like, Slovakia. And we were going into those games thinking we could, even away from home, we were going into thinking about we can win. Right? I'd say, see, Slovakia, they're better than Russia. Hamsik, Hadanovic. I know, like, some of them may play for Slovenia, right? But, I mean, even then, they're both. Once you look at the team, but they're kind of both equal. It, it, it's weird though how how so much can change in the space of two years. And the teams got better. Three years ago, Robinson was so. just a, a guy that played for Dundee United, mopped the floors at Queen Park. McGinn was a nobody. Um, like uh, Forrest Tierney wasn't on exist, that sort really? of form. Fraser wasn't on that sort of form. Ryan Christie, McKenna, was fucking being McKenna a and Sutter were about ten years old. I mean, we still had Mulgrew and. Uh, uh, Hanley, like, of course, that was about it. So, I don't know, I don't know. I, I just don't think, I don't we, think it'd be we, worth getting lost Alan McGregor, back, like, like, but that's about it. I just shouldn't have got rid of McGregor, shouldn't, like, I could understand if we had a, a replacement lined up, but we didn't. We just got rid of Gordon Stratton, we needed him lined up, and then we thought, alright, well, we need somebody, we brought in McLeach. Like, to me, see all the good work, Stratton dead over the the year the four years he was there. That was just undone when McLeish came in, and then it's kind of like Steve Clark's having to start back from scratch. But he may as well be yeah. scratching his ass at the moment because nothing's fucking happening. And that's it, guys. Right? I'm going two one Scotland, but realistically, I think three 0 Russia sounds about right. Sadly, but until then, until the refusal. Peace. Peace.